Hey yo, hey yo, and welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. We are running into oblivion <laughs> as we reach the next level with Valeria in the um, the La Rosa Dungeon because we beat them all a couple episodes ago, and now uh, Sunder's Club has become a new dungeon. So something's happening. That weapons are getting taken. Places are becoming dungeons. Some uh, weird magic stuff's happening. I still think Eric is behind this in some way, shape, or form. Or it's a big red herring. <laughs> but I hate Eric. And I think everyone hates Eric. <laughs> but let's continue on because Valeria is the closest to ranking up. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do that. And watch me die immediately. <laughs> what is that in the corner? I don't like it. It's a little bar. Now, what have we here? You feel an impulse to give a gift? Is the gifts now like a automatic thing? Huh? Wow, this bar has all the whiskeys. A girl could get used to this. She slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself, raises an eyebrow out here. Still have to fight monsters. Sure, why not? <laughs> well, honestly, I could think of many reasons, but let's pretend we're drunken masters. <laughs> mm hmm. She pours you a drink and sips her own. Every muscle of her face relaxes in pleasure. Mm, just kidding. Drunken masters are always hand to hand. No sharp edges. I'm too dangerous for stumbling around. Wouldn't want to hurt you after all. She becomes suddenly serious. Um... Unless I have to, that is. You know, to protect my secrets. Of course. <laughs> she winks and saunters away from the bar, leaving her empty glass. All right. What are you? An idol? Oh, you're just a creepy hand? Why? Why? Oh, in the mouth? Oh, not the mouth. Oh, and you're a projectile enemy. Please don't spit at me. It's not my kink. <laughs> yeah, get confused. What was... Oh, they make a weird noise when they die. <laughs> I don't like the body parts. Is this like a fear of sex stuff? <laughs> Ow! Oh, I don't have any healing items. Hold on! <laughs> yeah, attack that. It's stuck in the wall, so you can't hit it. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty brilliant. Come, this way. Fight myself in the wall. Yeah, you can't hit it! <laughs> I've broken the game! Oh god, those things like... I don't like those heart things. Oh, yep. Yep, there we go. What's over here? I want this. Thank you! Uh, s found sword cufflinks? Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if Isaac would like that. Please don't spit at me. Nope. <laughs> oh, you can't bamboozle that thing. Yeah, you can't bamboozle it. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. Ha! Ah. Aha! No! <laughs> Dang. But at least they ranked. Oh, they ranked up. Some interesting enemies in here. We found a lot of stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, adventurer, a warrior, worthy. <laughs> Hell yeah. You sleep heavily, and when it's morning, your eyes. Eyelids feel sticky. They don't want to open. You remember today's your birthday. Another year. Closer to death, at least. I'm not alone. I'm on an adventure. I'm learning new things. I'm on an adventure. You think about how scared you used to be of everything. And can't help smile as you get up. You find a package outside your door waiting for you. It's from your mom. My mom? 
It's cool to the touch. Oh, me mom, she sent me something. Aww. Inside it is a birthday cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrived refrigerated. <laughs> it says, to my only daughter on her special day. Aw, thanks, mom. You're about to cut a slice when there's a knock at the door. Answer it. <laughs> you longly set the cake aside and go answer the door. Hi, cuz. Happy birthday. <laughs> Aw. Uh, brought a friend. <laughs> nope, that's okay. Is it is it Jonah? Not Duncan. His name is Jonah. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, hey! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks! Your mom said she sent over a cake and we brought some little presents. Nothing special. Aw. Does it, does it change who comes to your birthday? Aw, Seven, do you like me the most? Aw, hey, Seven. Hey. I can't stay long, sorry, but I wanted to see you. Aw, oh, thanks. It's tradition for the birthday girl to use a weapon friend to cut a cake. You up for it, Seven? You're gonna burn my cake! Uh... Or I could, I'm a little worried it'll explode, but it's up to Cassandra. Mm. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to follow tradition. Let's do this! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Seven vi vibrates in your hand with restraint. Frosting still goes flying everywhere. <laughs> you managed to salvage a few pieces from the wreckage. I warned you. <laughs> it's still a cake. What do I care? I'd eat it as a milkshake. Hmm. <laughs> that special birth cake, birthday cake flavor. So vanilla, so sugar. Mm. Wow, your mom made this? It's like I can taste the love. Mm. Oh, you actually ate something? Maybe now it's a good time to give Cassandra my gift. Here. He gives you a cardboard too. You find a chronosite poster inside. Feels good. <laughs> I don't know if you like that show as much as I do, but I thought of you when I saw it. I love it. <laughs> you do? I'm glad. I hope the final season doesn't let us down, like many other shows. Seven smiles. Someone gives you a small smile. Hmm. Too many S's in that sentence. <laughs> I should probably watch that show, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I heard the team is making a game show now called Lucifer Within Us. Cool. Well, anyway, here, I got you a little something, too. Uh, a phoenix cap. Wow. Does it revive me? Just gives you an envelope. You open it to find assembly instructions for a phoenix cap. Holy energy. It's a kit. The hat looked a little... Looked a little dorky anime, but it sounded useful for the dunge. I can't wait to make it. Good. I almost went with socks. Or a whetstone. Those have been worse, right? <laughs> hmm. I never used a whetstone. Batteries are more my thing. Nah. Don't worry. Even I wouldn't give her batteries for her birthday. I mean, I can't turn into anything, and I don't use anything that would probably use batteries. <laughs> Either way, Cassandra, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us uh, here in Verona Beach. Mm -hmm. Definitely. My summer off tour would have been so boring without you. Uh... I don't know if I'd call being chased by fangirls boring exactly. Later. Anyway, I should get going. See ya. Me too. See you, cuz. Have a good day. I'll be thinking of you. <gasps> you're so sweet. Oh. Seven smiles at you on his way out. Oh, I, I, I can't do the little heart thing with my abattoir. <laughs> you close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. On your way home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. Um, surprisingly pliable. You're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. And attached reads, for Cassandra. Carry it inside. From who? Ah, oh, I should have known. <laughs> okay, let's start from the bottom. Uh, I was looking up what to cook, and this might be a little complicated. The new hotness, grilled cheese. What do you think? Too hard? Can we do it? Alright, it'll be fine. If you say so, I'm away. Oh, right now? <laughs> uh, hello. Do I even have a kitchen? <laughs> a few minutes later, Sawyer arrives with groceries. Hi! 
I wasn't sure which recipe to follow, so I got a few different things. Sorting through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. Do you put fruit in grilled cheese? You can see Fear and Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Uh, let's make it simple. Yep. <laughs> Alright, simple I can do, probably. Maybe. Actually, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. You show them how to grate cheese and melt butter in a pan. That wasn't so hard. The next step says we need to... We need some kind of weird TBSP cheese. What's a TSPA? Two terrific butter specimens? No, that's not right. Tablespoon. Oh, big spoon seems easier to remember though. Like, in snuggling. Sorry, if I ask dumb questions, I feel like I can be honest with you and ask you anything. You seem so nice, but are you secretly judging me? <laughs> nope. Nope. A little. Nope. <laughs> Good. I get judged enough in class. I'm sick of worrying about points. Oh, wait. I know how I can help. Uh, here we go. Now I can cut the bread. And the cheese? <laughs> Don't cut the cheese. Sure, thanks. <laughs> You awkwardly cut the bread with Sawyer's blade. They're a bit long s to do it so comfortably. Uh... That was less awesome than I'd hoped. I guess I'm better for killing monsters. <laughs> Maybe if there were monsters made of bread, then I'd be set. You assemble the cheese on the bread and put it in the frying pan. So, random question. Did you go to college? Um... Yeah, I did. Whoa! You're already done? Wow, that's so cool! Sorry if my question was random. Didn't mean to pry or anything. I wanted to ask because it seemed like you have it all figured out. Oh, I don't. This is all a facade. <laughs> but if you're graduated, then that makes sense. Maybe I'll be more like you someday. <laughs> Wait, do you smell that? Is our baby burning? It looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium heat. You created burnt mess. Man. Oh man, what? I can't even make the simplest grilled cheese, really? I feel so stupid. I hate this. Maybe this is all pointless. Let's try again. Uh, do we have to? Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, okay. I could do this. Medium heat. All you have to do is follow instructions. And use your heart. You carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. You carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. Cool. Hurried. Glaive throws return faster. Flailing. When a glaive returns from being thrown, do damage to all enemies nearby. That sounds cooler. Okay. Wow. Wow. Cooking is real transformation. Way more magical than people turning into swords. Did you put chips in this one, too? <laughs> they wolfed down their sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Ow, 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 ow! Phew, that was amazing! Plus, the ingredients for this were like, three dollars. If I cook instead of going to restaurants, I might be able to afford a textbook someday. You don't buy textbooks, you just illegally download them from sources. I mean, legally download them from sources. <laughs> Or borrow them. I don't think... I think I only ever bought one textbook in college. And it was... For like... Because I went to school for web design. And... I think it was like a book on illust like illustrator stuff. And it was actually like a useful book. So I actually bought that one. But like textbooks and stuff for like... Classes? Nah. Nah. You ain't cheating me out of my money. You make me pay that much for school, you should provide the textbook. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you have nothing. Sawyer's phone beeps and they glance at it and their jaw drops. Ah. Fridge! <laughs> There's been a, a Rose of Venus sighting in Verona Beach. I've got to go. A what? Oh. Seriously, they're the coolest artists in the world. They graffitied the Louvre. <laughs> Louvre? Lovre? I'm not sure how to say it. The French Museum, but they're graffiti for good. Stuff with real message, but dreamlike. Truth and beauty bombs, you know? Anyway, I've got to see the mural for myself. Later, chef! Bye! 
Sora bonnets up the leftover cheeses and hurries out. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I didn't think that was going to be a whole thing. Whoa! That grilled cheese put me into a sleep coma. They could sell this as a sedative. Tasty sedative in the West. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Very much! Just have to not eat one before a test. Oh, but I forgot to tell you! I was so pumped from yesterday that I made breakfast all by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. Just a little bit of shell. I cut the bread myself too. Huh, I feel so powerful! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Sawyer's cute. Uh, oh, this is the cat? Okay. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with a phone number in its mouth. I guess you found him? Thanks, if so. I was really worried. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Text me. I'll let... And I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out! He looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Are we in a relationship with the cat or the cat's owner? Okay, so did we... M okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Looks... I heard... It's a special day today. It's the exact middle of summer. Crazy, huh? I guess that means your trip is halfway over. I guess it's also... Your birthday, or something. So this isn't your steal? Nope, not me. Whatever you're talking about. JK, I couldn't help myself. Enjoy! Don't eat too much cake! Hey, I have news I think you're going to want to hear. Come by my shop. We can make a trade. I really don't want to. Because I think... You're a serial killer. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that conversation. Uh, okay, muffin stench is gone. Mostly, want to come? See my work some evening? Sounds good. I love art. Can't wait. Is that the end of that? Cool. Okay. I think we got some new stuff. Ooh. I want this. Oh, wait. What do you need for the hat? To Phoenix cap recipe. Ooh. <laughs> fancy, fancy. And the night helmet. Oh, what's the fox hood? Oh! I love it! <laughs> Ooh. Let's make all this stuff. You never have gifts to give. This is balls. I love balls. <laughs> Succulent. Sword cufflinks. I want to give those to Isaac. Yeah! <clears throat> Good thing we have a whole bunch of items. Ooh. I think that's everything we can make. Cool. You can now access the console in your apartment. Console? Oh, we got a little, little Game Boy Advance! <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, wait, how do you do this? Okay. Okay. You have to, like, rotate, and then it just stays in that direction? And that's really hard. <laughs> well, I lose. Because I didn't understand. I was expecting it to play a little more like Mario Kart. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch up. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so silly. You know I hate bucks. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm winning this one. <laughs> Final lap, but I ain't no quitter. Also, I don't know how to quit. <laughs> ah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn, 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 turn. Stop bumping, stop bumping. Yeah, yeah, sharp turns. Ah. Yay, six out of six. Well done. <laughs> well, that's a cute little feature to add. I like that. 
Okay. Um. What do we need to do? What are we doing? Uh, uh, I don't want to go over in the air. Let's just get this over with. Wait, you can actually have a love rank with him? <laughs> you find Eric reading a book behind the counter. Hello, I hope you get punched in the face. Yeah. He brightens as you approach, carefully closing his book, trying to look all cool and sophisticated. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Not likewise. Really? You look great. Fit. The dunge must be giving you a good workout. You have information? Eric smiles, though his eyes seem cold and distant. Hmm. Strictly business, hmm? I was just getting to that. Well, I thought you might want to know that I discovered about... What I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Hmm. Did you know they manifest your fears? The monsters actually come from inside you? Yes? Uh. Oh, well, you didn't have to be all huffy about it. Oh, you getting offended when you're all huffy about things? I was thinking, since the dungeons are all about your fears, then... Couldn't we just, like, ignore them and they'd go away? Seems like it'd be safer, too. But even if you want to fight monsters, the fact that it's your fear suggests you have control. Hmm. I think we could even speedrun dungeons if we wanted. Skip straight to the bottom. Fight the boss monster immediately. I figured out how. But... Eric pauses and looks at you in the eye with a mischievous grin. I said this would be a trade. How about I tell you about my speedrun strat for the low, low price of one kiss on the cheek? I don't need this. <laughs> oh, fine. What about a smile? Just one pretty smile. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, you could, should share a smile. That smile more often. My smiles are for me to decide to give out or not. Not you. Well... With your end of the deal fulfilled, here's what I know. If you decide not to be afraid, I think the boss would manifest itself immediately. Ah. You could skip straight to the end. Bam, no problem. That's not how it works. <laughs> you try to explain that fears and anxieties are more complex than just deciding not to and need time. Ugh. Uh, I need you to try to make excuses. Everyone always does. Why can't people just decide to feel better about themselves? It's what I do. I don't think you have real feelings, my dude. <laughs> feelings and emotions are way more complicated than just being like, I'm not sad anymore. <laughs> I'm always going to be sad. <laughs> it's chronic. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I'd advise not inventing any new fears. It might make more dungeons appear. Eric winks at you. Pleased with himself. A shape slips silently into your view, graceful as water. <laughs> Holy sh- what are you? Ugh, you make me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Enemy. The stranger stares at you with an intensity bordering on excitement. Ah! Eric's eyes widen quickly sh and he quickly shakes his head. No. No, not an enemy. Return to your sheath. I'm fucking right! <coughs> I'm so right. That's like a fucking Frankenstein that he's chipping together from different people that he's kidnapping. I knew it. <sighs> I gave myself a headache. Oh, 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 all the blood rushed to my head. Hold on. Uh. The stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Hmm. That's my friend. Don't worry about him. He's under my control. He looked ill. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is, and that's all I want to say about it. I've been very generous with my information, but I, but even I need privacy. Hmm. I paid for my. I'm paid for my knowledge as a professor, after all. Don't take me for granted. Hmm? Good day. Eric pointedly reopens his book and ignores you until you leave. I freaking knew it! <laughs> I knew it! You psychopath! You're a psycho! <laughs> oh, all the blood's gonna rush to my head again. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk to the cat. <laughs> oh my god. You find a familiar orange cat tail flicking. You sit on a bench nearby. His collar reads pocket. 
Remember me? He seems not to hear you, and yawns. Then he starts his sh he stands and stretches luxuriously, seemingly ignoring you. Pocket quickly becomes distracted and tenses up, looking at the pond next to you. As you follow his gaze and see happy ducks enjoying the weather. Pocket stares intently at the duck's mouth, slowly falling open. Quietly bird watch. After a moment, he makes a small squeaky sound, almost like he's talking. <laughs> okay. Swat. Finishers immobilize enemies. Okay. The ducks, perhaps feeling watched, paddle away further into the water. Paga looks at you expectantly, tail flicking. So, you're a cat. Paka stretches, arching his back. Hey. Your skin your skintillating conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Oh, a chance meeting, my favorite kind. She leans over and kisses you lightly, a smile on her lips. Meow. Yeah. Oh, this must be your valiant protector against the evil ducks. Pocket blinks lazily at the sunlight. A soft purr is starting up. Huh? Can I pet him? If he lets you. <laughs> she offers her hand to him, but he hisses when she tries to move closer. Fair enough, everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. But I just took a walk to clear my head. Gotta get back to work. <laughs> and away from these ducks. You be careful around them. Ciao. <laughs> Her kiss goodbye is prolonged and sweet in the afternoon sun. When it ends, you open your eyes and realize Pocket has slipped away. You sit for a while longer, then head home. So, the whole cat situation. <laughs> Okay. He made it home safely. His claws look healed too. He got into trouble. He usually does. Cats are gonna cat. Oh, looks like he's ready to go out again. Okay. Boss alarm, he came back inside. <laughs> Never mind, maybe next time. <laughs> That's funny. <gasps> My mom texted me! So, what's it like living life on the edge? You know, cause swords, kissing them, etc. Very funny, Mom. <laughs> so, you like it when my swords have a dual meaning? Oh, so you like when my words have a dual meaning, huh? Get it? Yes, Mom. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm being perfectly acceptable. Okay, I'm done for now. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Please text me more. <laughs> but, uh... Wow. A lot's happening right now. <laughs> That's too much happening. <sighs> I am uh, curious on where the cat route is going to go. It's kind of weird. I don't know if we're going to meet the owner at some point. But, uh, I know I'm right about Eric. I am 100% right about Eric. And Eric is a horrible human being, and he needs to be stopped. <laughs> and they make you hate him from the beginning, because we know he's going to be a bad guy. God, God, you're, you're an icky, icky person, and you're evil. And that poor... Poor thing that you made. Oh my god. Like, how can you think that's okay? You just steal pieces of people. And he's gonna justify, like, I didn't kill them or anything. They heal. But no, you're still taking a part of a person. Like, every single one of them said, like, they felt something was missing. But I still think... That Isaac is going to get taken at some point. That's because like he was the only one that we were introduced to that wasn't like a rescue per se. But I do think Isaac will get taken at some point. That's my prediction. But that's all just guesses. And I, I really wonder if the birthday thing is just like depends or if it's always the same person. Because like 
if because I don't know who's the my highest rank person right now. And if it is seven, then it's probably different based on that. I don't know. But uh, I need to let the blood from my head redistribute to the rest of my body. <laughs> so I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> oh my god, Eric. I'm going to take great pleasure in punching you in the face when the time comes. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I post. And, you know, slide me to a friend. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!